All right, so if you were absent from class uh, on Monday, October 5th, we were practicing drawing some forms. We are going to um, put a, a drawing together that has uh, four different forms. We went through, and um, it's going to be kind of random. So we started off with um, drawing a sphere in the center of our page. So you can go ahead and draw a sphere in the center of your page. We're going to do that by drawing a circle. Um, again, our drawings are going to be similar, but probably a little different. Um, this is going to be a snowball. Um, that was one of the things that we were going to draw. So just draw yourself a sphere as best as you can put it about the center of your page. And then on this side, we're going to have a cylinder that we're going to turn into a trash can. So let's start off drawing an ellipse like this. Once you've got that ellipse drawn out from the ends, you're going to go ahead and pull some lines down so that we can get the cylinder look here. And then the bottom of um, the trash can is um, rounded off. So again, I'm going to go through this a little fast. I'm going to expect that you just pause the video as you go. Okay. Um, and then it's going to be a trash can. So let's go ahead and draw ourselves a little handle in here by adding two little parallel lines that look like this. And you can close them off on the ends. It looks something like that. So I'll go ahead and zoom in real quick. So we've got a sphere. And then a little higher on this side, we're drawing a trash can using the cylinder. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to have is a rectangular prism, which we are turning into a book. Okay. So over on this side, we drew our rectangular prism. So over on this side, go ahead and it's a little below where this, the start of that is. We're going to go ahead and start off with a rectangle. And the book is just kind of like facing, standing up. So we're going to have some vertical lines going this way. We're not going to touch the bottom. It's going to look like this. And you should have yourself a nice, and I'll zoom into that, rectangle. It looks like that. Okay. And in order to turn this rectangle into a rectangular prism, we're going to have to get to the third dimension. So we're going to go ahead and use a diagonal line here. So this is going to slant back like that. And we're going to do the same kind of slanted line here. So both of these are parallel to each other. They're running the same direction. You want to make sure that you put these in there running in the same direction. And you'll have one more over on this side. And all of these lines are parallel to each other. And then what we'll do is we'll connect this line, horizontal line, horizontal line. This back line is also going to be a horizontal line. And then for the spine of the book, we'll have a vertical line that is parallel to this one here. So this will look like this. And we've pretty much gotten all the shapes down that will make a rectangular prism. And we will turn this into a book in a little bit. Uh, next thing I'm going to ask you to do, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom into it so you can see it fairly well. You're going to make a thin line that is going to be right below this line here. It's going to run right next to it, but leave a little space all the way out like that. And then you can curve this part in so that it goes like that and it'll touch the front. It'll look something like this. And that's the basic shape. We're going to have to, of course, shade all our forms in a minute, all our shapes, so that we can create form. So right now we have a sphere in the center, which is going to be turned into a snowball. We have a cylinder that's going to be turned into a trash can. We have a rectangular prism that is going to be a book. And then we're going to have some ancient pyramids up here. So um, somewhere around this part of your paper, we're going to go ahead and draw a horizontal line and create a, like an equilateral triangle, sort of. About as equilateral as you can make it. And then on this end, we'll go ahead and pull out a diagonal line so we can get that third dimension. And we will connect it with another diagonal line that attaches for that back end. I'll go ahead and zoom into that because we did add a little bit of detail to it. So the next thing we're going to do is make a couple of um, horizontal lines that are parallel to this line here. And we'll go straight across, straight across, all the way up this edge. 
Let's try to place it as evenly as possible. Of course, we are eyeballing this. And then on this side, the same line that's here is going to continue, but it's going to be slanted just parallel to that one. So it should look like this. And then we went ahead and made it look like bricks. To give it a little texture to this, we we're going to go ahead and add a couple of lines. We're going to go up and down here, skip a little. It'll look like this. And then we're going to skip this line, and we're going to put these lined up with these. So we're going to look here like this. We'll skip this line, and we'll go up here. We'll skip that line. It'll be something like that. And then for all the in-between lines that we skipped, we're going to go in between these marks. So this will go here and here, up here and here, there, something like that. And then the same thing on this side. These are all going to angle up toward um, that way. So we'll go slanted this way, slanted that way, slanted this way, slanted that way. Slant it this way. I don't know if that's going to fit. Do something like this. And then all the in between lines. So we'll go here, 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 there. Something like that will work. These probably need to be a little straighter. All right. So now we got a little bit of detail on these. And we're going to start um, shading these up so that they are they look like forms. So your paper should look something like this. You've got a circle that we're going to turn into a sphere. A, tra a cylinder that's going to be a trash can. A rectangle of prism is going to be a book. And the pyramid. So our light source is going to come from here. I would first off make sure um, it's a snowball, so it's going to be white. So we're going to go ahead and lighten up this line on this side since it is um, the side of the light. Okay, I'm actually going to... My lines are a little dark, so I'm going to kind of lighten it up all. And I'm going to start coming in here with a little bit of text of uh, value. I'm going to lay my pencil down. And I'm going to start with uh, kind of getting like a, a crescent moon shape of shading that's going to come from the edge. And I may have gone just a little too dark, but I'm going to go from thin to thick and back to thin. So if you see my shaded line, it starts thin on the line and kind of comes off and it's a little thicker. And then it goes back to thin. This part that's left, this white part, should still look like a circle. Okay, you should never have sharp edges. And then we're just going to make another circle kind of coming in. A little lighter than what we had. And this is also going to circle in. Our light source again is coming from this top side, my lines are not coming out very good. My shading, I'm going to make it work. So once I have that, I'm going to stop adding lead on here. And I'm just going to rub this in with my finger. I'm just going to go right on the line and take it into the circle. This is a snowball. So snowballs aren't going to be too dark. And then we're just going to blend this. And we want to go in a circle. So you want to keep curving as you blend. And I thought so. I went a little too dark on this edge. But I'm going to leave it. And so we kind of have like a little sphere or something like that. Now if this were a snowball, it definitely would not have like the straightest edges ever. So I'm going to clean up the outside really quick, and then I'm going to just kind of add some little erase marks inside of here to kind of make it maybe not so perfect as far as the texture on here. So I'm going to just, with my eraser, I'm going to come in here and kind of get some circles in here. And you can see I'm kind of making a couple of few little dots. I'm just kind of trying to get a little texture to to this snowball because it would just be pressed ice together. I'm just going to kind of come in here. Like I said, I'm just kind of making a couple little circles in here. Maybe it can look like indentions later to create a little shadow of the pressed ice. 
And this is a little bit dark, so I'm going to go ahead and erase a little on here. And then I'll just go ahead and smooth over it again to kind of blend in these circles so you don't see that so much. They don't look so perfect, those little circles. Now I can kind of get me a little texture on that. And of course, it's going to... Um, so I want to work it until you feel a little comfortable with what you have. So I can see some parts here that look a little awkward. I'm just going to add some little erase marks to kind of get some of these harder lines out. I'm just trying to create a little texture on here, and then I'll just rub with my finger. And like I said, we'll go ahead and work this a little bit more as we go. But for the most part, we'll try to make that look like a snowball a little later in our drawing. So we've got, um, you can see, let me zoom into it a little bit. I'm going to zoom into the trash can now. And we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of texture to this, or some value to this. So I'm going to start on this corner here. We're going to bring in some curved lines from this corner. And we're only going to bring these lines out to about halfway. So coming off the edge, our light source is coming from this opposite side. So we're going to add some curved lines in there. Once we got the curved lines, I'm going to go ahead and start shading the whole thing from light to dark. So I'm going to lighten up this line here. I can still see where it goes. And I'm going to lightly shade this side. And as I get closer to the middle of the trash can, I'm going to start to press a little harder. I'm going to go over the handle, and I'll start to press a little harder, and go over here. And then I'll do the same thing coming back. So I'll start with a little darker pressure, harder pressure, and as I start coming back, I'm going to loosen up on the pressure a little, and then I'll have like a really light edge. Should look something like that. And if you get out of your shape, you can just go ahead and darken up your, erase your little shadings that are around. I'm going to darken up right under the top a little bit. And then I'm going to use my finger to blend from the dark side over to the light side. And the dark side over to the light side. Should create a little cylinder look like that. And I'm going to take out everything that's outside of my form. I will erase everything outside my form. I'm going to erase. And then I'm going to add a little detail to um, the handle here. So right here on this handle, I'm going to shade underneath the handle. Add a little shadow underneath. And on this left side, or I mean on this right side, and I'm also going to do the same thing right inside here. So right inside there, and that'll kind of give a little bit to the handle there. And then I'm going to shade the inside of this trash can, the opposite. So this is my dark side. I usually kind of get into these corners and fan out a little bit of the shading here. Moving this bottom corner up and out. We can blend that in a little bit more in a little while. All right, so um, once we've got that in here, we're going to go opposite. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a lip here at the top, and we're going to shade it, make a nice little line, create a C. And this will touch the bottom, nice and dark doesn't touch the top line, and then you just fill this in with some lines coming across like this. Still have a C shape in there. 
And that's that for right now.